Okay, this is a video for adding uh, external GPS to the ICOM IC9700. This is not uh, the frequency stability mod um, with the um, to cure the drift. This is just adding the external GPS for D-Star and synchronizing internal clock and all that stuff. Uh, kind of like the IC705 has that was not included with the 9700. Anyway, it's just going to show you how to make this pigtail uh, where you can plug a GPS in. We're pirating power from the 8-pin DIN jack and we're inserting the GPS NMEA signal into the data jack. And I'm just using this. This is a GPS I had of found in my junk box. The BR355 on any of my work will have to be a serial GPS, not a USB. So keep that in mind. Don't buy a USB and try to put a plug like that on. It's probably not going to work. I did lose some of the initial footage, unfortunately. I can't go backwards, so I'll just explain the materials you need and uh, kind of how this is wired. But anyway, you don't need much. You need a male uh, DB9. You need a hood. Don't use this. I'm showing a metallic here. Use a, a non-metallic like this just because there's a lot of stuff going on inside here. You don't want something to short out. Uh, you need that in associated hardware for that. You're going to need an 8-pin DIN. That's the plug-in over here. You're going to need a pigtail. This is a 2.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve. Um, need one of those. Uh, you're going to need a 7805 5 volt regulator chip. You're going to need two capacitors, a 0.33 microfarad and a 0.1 microfarad. And since the footage got erased, I think you can tell just by the close ups, but I'll go ahead and explain what's fixing to come up after this video, but uh, or after this part. Basically what I did is I cut the legs off of the 7805 um, and then folded them back. So I cut them off right there where it gets thicker and then I folded them back and then I connected these cut down re uh, capacitors straight to the legs. And this is how they're set up here is basically how they're wired. You're going to connect the, the common leg together between the two, the two capacitors and then those will connect to the center pin which is ground on this chip and the remaining leg of the 0.33 will connect to the input side which is pin 1 on here and the remaining leg of the 0.1 microfarad capacitor will connect to pin 3 which is the 5 volt output and that's it. It's just cut down in the upcoming video and unfortunately like I said you can't go backwards so all the information is there it's not hard to do. Um, I didn't talk about the settings uh, to get this working because there really aren't any. All you have to do is put your in the menu section, go from manual to external GPS and make sure your baud rate matches. Um, I think it defaults to 4800. Maybe it's 9600, but just got to get your baud rate right. And that's it. Good luck. Okay, we're about ready to give this thing a test. This is the circuit here. That will go over again. The two the two wires at the bottom, the blue and the gray, they're just going to the probes on the voltmeter. Uh, that's going to be the output, which is simulate where the GPS will be connected. Um, up here, uh, here, uh, the yellow one is supplying 13.8 from the power supply. The green is the ground going to the power supply. Uh, you can see that the green is just clipped onto the mounting tab. The mounting tab and the center pin are both ground, so they're connected. And uh, if you take a look at the DB9 on the, uh, the little 7805 side, that's a, obviously the DB9 male like we talked about earlier. The, the pins are labeled, uh, looking at it like we're looking at it from the left, from this side, it's one, two, three, four, five. So the white wire is actually connected to pin four. The black wire is connected to pin five. The white wire should uh, get the 5 volts once we turn on the power supply. And pin 5, like I said, is a ground. So we'll give it a flick down here. And there you go, 5 volts. So that part of it's working. And next we're going to take the pigtail. 
We're gonna touch it over here. There is the serial part of it hooked up. The black wire is on pin five with the other black wire. The, the ring is the white wire. It's on pin three. And the red wire is the tip and it is on pin two. So, um, yeah, that's it. There's your pigtail down here. That'll plug in the radio. The only thing left to hook up is we'll have to put a ground and this wire will go to the appropriate pins on this. So we'll have to get a little length of cable to hook that up. Let me go see if I can dig some out. Okay, next step is to supply the power. Like I said, we're only using this eight pin connector on the back is just to pull power from. There's no data connections or anything else. We're only concerned with pin number two, which is ground, and that's dead center at the top, and pin seven, which is 13.8 volts. So you're looking at the, the diagram. Um, you're not looking at the end of the plug. You're looking at the, the jack, so it's gonna be opposite, right? So when I plug it in, seven will be on to my left over here. And of course, the ground remains in the center. So I'm gonna get, get a piece of cable. I'm gonna connect it to those two pins, uh, number seven and number two. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got that taken care of. Just soldered the wires, just like I said, on the back of that connector. Uh, the green one's the ground and the red one is the 13.8. Uh, and you're looking at the back of the connector here. So it's exactly like this, pin two, pin seven. And there it is done. I did change one thing. I got rid of the red wire that was coming off of that chip and just soldered directly. So you can see the red wire coming from that uh, cream colored cable and going to the power and the green wire going to the ground with the rest of them. And are we done? We're done, we're finished. All right, let's give it a try. And it is working. As you can see, there's the GPS icon right there. Go over here. Right there. A little nervous, it uh, didn't come on right away because it took it a while to acquire the satellites. But uh, yeah, there's my position right there. Cool. Yeah, that's not hard to do at all. And this little GPS has got a magnet on the back, so. Sit right there. It's got a little indicator light. There's how it's hooked in. Simple, simple. All neatly tucked away in there. All right, stand by. We got some more mods coming for this radio. I got some stuff in mind. <laughs>